This win today gets you the number one seed in the Big Ten tournament, and now a share of a title. Like, how, how does that feel? Um, really, for me, it was more about playing Maryland today. And I get, they're really good. They're playing their best basketball of the year right now. I think they're going to be a tough out in March. And, you know, we got more games to, um, to play. And so it's really about now focusing on Michigan, who obviously beat us in Ann Arbor, and they'll come in prepared. So we got to have two great days of practice and on to the next one. And what did you see improve so well from playing them in College Park to today? Um, you know, they're really playing well in transition. They're really quick up the court right now, and, and they really hurt us uh, at times in transition. Um, I thought their defense, even though we scored, I don't know it was, 79 or something, um, I thought their defense was giving us some problems. They switched their defenses really effectively and really made us work uh, in where we did score. Can you talk about Sluss's offense and how she's kind of provided a spark in the first and second quarters these last few games, especially that was the area of the game where you were, you were starting off slow. Yeah, you know, she's, she's done a great job really just integrating herself into our program and our system. And, you know, kind of how we play is a little bit different and unique and, and just something that she hadn't been a part of. And so, but each week she seems to get better and better. And it's really just attributed to all the work and the effort she's putting into it. Can you talk about the maturity of Cody coming out in the fourth quarter with four fouls and being able to produce five quick points and not foul out? Would you say maturity? Yeah, <laughs> maturity. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. No, she did a good job before the court. And like, you know, she's an emotional player, and, and obviously she you know, got a little bit upset there. But um, but she really got locked in and focused and played great in the fourth quarter. You, you guys led pretty healthily throughout the entire game, but Maryland kept making runs. Can you talk about the resilience that your team showed, you know, throughout the long stretch? Yeah, like I said, Maryland played great. They, they really had some great stretches there. Uh, but I was really proud of our kids for you know, kind of making sure we had the poise to continue to execute and, and do the things necessary to, to come away with the win. With it being senior day, did your players use that as motivation, or were they just compartmentalizing the emotions and staying focused? I mean, I think that um, especially the – the, the younger ones wanted to, to play for the seniors to make sure that we set them on a high note. And um, we had a great ceremony before it, but I think they did a good job kind of you know, getting their, regaining their focus to get ready for the game. There's still a lot of basketball to be played, but what is the legacy you feel of this senior class? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, you know, just one, we've had incredible kids. They've really represented the program on and off the court in a first-class manner, so that's probably the, the happiest thing. Um, <clears throat> to talk about, um, but they've also had a great on-the-court success as well. So just really great kids. I'm really happy that I've had a chance to coach all of them, and um, you know, hopefully we have a lot more games left. Kevin, you talked a lot in the offseason about wanting your half-court defense to be better. It seems like it's increasing. It's getting better each week after week. Looked pretty good again today. Kind of what? How much growth have you seen in that, and how much do you feel like that changes this team? Yeah, no, I think it's allowed us to get to another level because um, you know we weren't good enough in the half-court last year. Our press was really good, and, and it created a lot of havoc. But in the half court, we lost some games because we just didn't work good enough. And I think we've gotten better. We've really emphasized it. And as I say, you are what you emphasize. And so we've gotten better there. I still think our rebounding needs to be more consistent, a little bit better. Um, and so we we'll put some more focus on that. As you guys pair that with the press, I think people always thought Ohio State is a really good press team. But now it seems like you guys are more than the press. You feel like that's helped kind of you guys get over that. that I do, sometimes. I do, because, you know, I think that we, it allows us to really wear on people that um, we're, we're pressing and really making the game extremely fast and it's kind of grueling, yet even when they don't turn it over, we can still stop them in the half court. Kevin, you had mentioned, or uh, sorry, excuse me, uh, Madison didn't participate in the senior game, so it's, is the expectation that she's going to be back for an Yeah, season? probably. I mean, with all the kids, um, I mean, with COVID and injuries, it's like, some days I'm like, how many years do you have left? Like, it's, it's hard to keep track of, but for, for all of them, we'll kind of get all sorted out here when the season's over. You, you're like? talking about that. No, you, no, no, you go. You're talking about that press and that aggressiveness. Is that what was the difference in the fourth quarter after they got within five? Yeah, I, I thought the press was good, um, but really I thought we really probably wanted our offense again. I thought our, our we, we had a stretch there. We settled um, for way too many threes, and, and we got a little more balance in our offense down the stretch and just some better shots. What is it like getting to this Michigan game without another loss? It kind of feels like a full circle moment in the Big Ten. Yeah, it's, it's been you know, interesting. Um, we, we certainly didn't play well there, and they played really well. And, um, you yeah, know, they'll be ready, but um, I, I think we're better. I haven't had a chance to watch them a whole lot. I will in the next couple of days, but they're they're probably better as well. And so I think both teams have improved, and so it should be an entertaining matchup. What are the ways in which you think this team is better from when you played that game? Um, I, I think 
I'll start with if you look where we were December and yeah, still December when we played Michigan. Two, one, Celeste is playing at a different level. Two, Cody's playing at a different level. So personnel-wise, I think we just have players playing more to their capability. We're not going to be the team we're capable of being unless they are who they are. I also think we've gotten better in the half court defensively and kind of put all that together. Um, it's got us at a different level. There, there was a certain stretch there in the first half where you had uh, Emma, Ricky, and JC all on the floor at one point. What was it like to have three you know, primary ball handlers on the floor at one point? Yeah, it's good. I mean, you know, that sometimes the ball kind of sticks and doesn't move as much as I'd like. And when they're out there together, usually the ball moves around a little bit better. And Ricky feeling all good after that ball in Penn State? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. She was at a little bit of a sprained ankle, but she did a good job with the trainer the last couple of days. It's good to go today and should be fine with it moving forward. Cody's had two technicals now since February 11th. Uh, She's not the only player who complains to the refs. <laughs> is this is now today did look like a tech to you whenever she's running out to yeah. the court? But is this a, a, a habit that you talk to her about? Or yeah, of course, yeah, we talk about that and address it in practice anytime that happens for any place. Is some of that rooted in the fact that she goes to the basket so many times and doesn't seem to get a whole heck of a lot of consideration? Well, not what, to put you in a bad spot. No, but what I would say is if, if you really watch, is um, she's such a physical and aggressive player and athletic, and she plays through contact most people can and so yeah. that's always my gripe is just to, to make sure we don't penalize it.